Chat beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. How are you guys doing? It's an exciting week for me because on Friday, me and Jamie are going to Italy for 10 days. So exciting time ahead. So, so excited. So today is a special video. It's part of my Antonio and Amigos series <laughs> that I have to, on my channel. Amigos means friends in Spanish. And is a series I do on my channel where I collaborate with uh, talented and creative artists and we do videos together. Why? Because, well, A, it's fun for us creators to do this and B, it's a great support for the channels to share creativity, to share other people work and support one another and it's a fantastic way for for you guys viewers to see what other creators do so today it's a special video is in collaboration with Heather and Yon studio and I will put all the links down below on a lovely DJ and I messaged her and she was super super friendly and super nice and she said, yes, Antonio, I love to collaborate with you. So I'm, I'm was so excited. I absolutely adore her work. She's got um, a shop. She actually got a website. As I said, all links are down below. That's a website, heatherandyonstudio.com. And she, of course, she has a shop. So she sells printables as well. And I was, uh, as soon as I saw this collection, I fell in love straight away. Again, the link to this will be down below. So if you guys wish to purchase this and support DJ, it will be much appreciated. So this is a kit that has got um, pages. So like full length, as I call them, pages and are fabulous. I mean, look at that. Look at this collage. I, as you guys know, I am obsessed with collages. I love them and I love making them. And I appreciate this high aesthetic because uh, it's very similar to mine. So when I saw that, I said, yes, I love to play with those. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it's a kit with the same page I shrunk into journal pages. So you've got the same page, but shrunk in a half to create this junk journal or journal pages. So I'm just going to go a quick flip through. And it's nice because you get different sizes. And I think it's brilliant. Oh, look, I mean, look at that. Look at the detail of the collage. So talented, so creative. I mean, look at that. Love, 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 love. Okay, and then there's another kit that is the ephemera um, part adds on. Move my scissors, which I'm gonna create with this because I got an idea in my mind. I'm gonna use those three, but I'm gonna show you everything in a minute and I'm gonna use these tags. Look at that. And probably gonna use this butterfly. So what in my head, uh, there is a, oh, put, me, put it this way so you guys can see it. There's an envelope and stamps. There's like watercolors, adds on and more, more tags, pockets. It's literally everything that you need to make your journal. But what I wanna do today, I'm gonna make some tags. But in my head, what I wanted to do is creating this like fold over. Right, let me get a piece of paper from my bin, <laughs> as you do. So in my head, oh no, that was that. Oh, that's just measurement. So let me put it this way so you can see what I will achieve what I'm trying to do. So what, what I wanted is a piece of paper, fold it over. Okay, and create some pockets for the tags, but I want this to be freestanding. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm go because I printed these on simply copy paper. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cut and glue this on some book page, and I've got some book page on here. I'm just looking on my desk because they're quite thick. My this book pages I've got, and I'm gonna do the same with these three pockets. Okay, and then we're gonna decorate it together. But let me cut this first, and then we're gonna make the uh, pockets together, and I'll show you what it's spinning in my head. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, these are the Atlas, uh, pages from my Atlas book. 
and they're very very thick so i just want the back on the tags to have these lovely images so i'm just gonna glue them like that okay and then the um pockets because you won't see them because they're gonna be glued on top of the tag base i'm just gonna use this plain page page there so i'm just gonna quickly glue it together Okay, so now that they are glued on, I'm just gonna quickly cut them all. Okay, so it's all done and cut. Now, the reason why I do this is normally, and the same things I do with my own digital, when I print them, I always print them in copy paper. Okay, because I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. If I know in my head that, I don't know, I'm making like, I don't know, like a gift box or I don't know. Um, yeah, anything that I know it's been designed to be on a thicker cab stock, then of course I, because how can I explain it? So when I design gift boxes, I know they are gift boxes. So they need to be printed on cab stock. Okay, so... I print them already in cardstock because that's the end use. But with printables, I always like to print them on copy paper first. Of course, first of all, to check if the print is all right, <laughs> of course. And then, because I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So that's the reason why I um, I do this sort of step-by-step, step, like glue them up upwards, afterwards. But if you know that you want to do this sort of project, just print them already onto thicker card stock and there you go. But I do like the idea of having another print on the back. And I also, when you glue the paper, the, the, I always use Mod Podge. Okay, so the Mod Podge will give a really strong, uh, when it dries out, it give a really strong feel and texture. Okay, um, and I just, I just like to do so. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, and this is what, is the down in fact i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna fold them yeah so just gonna create the pockets i'm just gonna simply fold that in there and then i'm just gonna give it a quick ink just distress the edges okay so basically you're just gonna fold the tabs and then the tag will slide inside okay so just gonna do the same on the three pockets and then I'm quickly gonna give a um a quick distress. I think I'm gonna use what have I got on the desk? I'm gonna ink on the desk. I think I'm gonna use uh let's do something with I think I need black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the uh black suit um from the ranger. Okay, right, I'm gonna fold, fold this and then, apologies, I got glue all over my fingers and nails, but never mind, never mind. Right, I'm gonna give a quick ink and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so all done. They tend to curl because of course they, they're still a bit wet, but once they dry, they will be very flat. Now, I got my Atlas book page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create the base of the of this pocket holder, whatever you want to call it. So kind of like eyeball it and measure it. I want to be of a border. So I think I'm going to go for that. Okay. So yeah, I think that's, am I going to chop a little bit because I don't like, yeah. And then, so that would be the base. And then this will basically fold itself up like that. Okay. So in that way. Uh, okay. So roughly, I'm just going to make a little mark, which is there. Trim there. Okay. I'm going to get rid of these. Okay. 
So the pocket will be attached there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is to just put, um, you can use glue, but I prefer to use double side tape because I know that's the length of the glue. So I know where it will stop because if you use glue sometime, when you don't have a lot of space, the glue could go all over and you just ended up with like that much space <laughs> to create an additional pocket. So I just put double side tape. I'm gonna do one with you and I'm gonna do the other two off camera because it's the same principle. So just gonna peel the backing off. Okay. So we got one pocket there. Now this tag is too big for that pocket because it's been designed. So if you press that there, or will it fit? I don't know if it, oh yeah, it will fit. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. So you've got two pockets. So one pocket there, and then we put the pocket from the kit on top of that. Okay, but for that, I'm going to use the glue. So I'm going to use my Mod Podge and just simply going to put the glue on the tab. Just be careful not to go, not to exceed the tab because otherwise the tab, the tag won't fit in it. Okay. So I'm just gonna put, just using all the glues in the brush. <laughs> okay. So I'm then just simply gonna put that there. So you've got a, basically a secret little pocket. And then what I do, when I do these sort of pockets, I use my scoring board and I press there, do you know, inside where the tabs are, because yeah, as you can see, this is already open it up. Just to give it a little pressure and on the bottom as well. So I hope you can see it there. Yeah, if I do like, oopsie, see? Now it opens up again, so. You just need to be a patient. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a few seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so you've got one pocket on the front and one on the back. Okay, so just put this ephemera piece. So you've got two pockets. If you don't want a pocket on the front on the back, you just simply chop these and then just put the this pocket on the front. So you just went one pocket. If you want two, just fold the bottom up so you get two pockets. It's completely up to you. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I think I'm going to round the corner there. Because I prefer it like that. And I think I'm gonna give it a really good ink. And I'm gonna use my crocodile and put a nail it in here. But you get the gist, okay? So let me just do this little finishing touch. In. Okay, done, finished, completed. The only thing I added are the labels, okay? This is my kit, it's called the Lovely Labels. I printed up like 900 <laughs> in this folder. Yeah, there's so many different labels, different colors. There are some plain ones. I will put the link down below in, car in case you guys want to get um my labels but yeah i think um i just think they're gorgeous look at that so this is one so that's the base and this goes like that this is number two look at that gorgeous 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 and then i just rounded the top and this is number three which is my favorite because you've got You've got the black in there. That's the tag and it you slide in. Okay, the only thing I did, I added, well, with my 
uh, what's that one inch circum punch I just did that completely unnecessarily completely you know it's completely up to you but I just think he added a little touch okay that's it I'm going to go I hope you guys like these tags if you do please consider it giving a really big thumbs up because because it helps with my journey here on YouTube because you're telling YouTube how fabulous I am and YouTube needs to know that <laughs> no thank you guys and also please please don't forget to go and subscribe to lovely dj again all the links are down below so this hyder and yon studio and please please subscribe and also support if you can by purchasing hair um digitals but uh, again all djs um social media links and website are listed in the info box down below guys i will see you on friday as i as i mentioned next week i might be a bit quieter because i'm in italy of course i already scheduled all my videos and post on all social media channels of course i will reply to all the comments it might take a bit more time than usual but i'll be present but i'll try to spend as much time with my family and my friends okay and i'm hoping that i can come back and give you some updates about the house um fingers crossed guys have a wonderful day i'll see you on friday for a very special video and until then stay safe and well Mwah. bye <music>